In this video, I'm going to show you how you can enter manual results for things that aren't labs, but are still things that you want to measure. So for example, there's a clinic that treats a lot of patients for chronic pain, and they want to monitor and graph their patients' progress over time using the pain disability index. Nice quick scale, seven item scale measures the impact of chronic pain on different areas of the patient's life. So the nurse maybe fills it out on a form with a patient, but then wants to be able to enter the result into the chart so that they can graph and look at it over time. So if you go into the lab report tab and hit new, let's create a procedure called Pain Disability Index and the description that we will have is PDI score. So let's say that they have a value of 35. Now on this scale it can be anywhere from 0 to 70 and there aren't any units. So we'll have it like that. And let's say that we got this from this patient in February. Okay. Okay, now let's add another one. They come in again, say in April. And so we want to enter their new value in for them. So because we have put this in here before, the procedure will now be in here, as well as the, uh, the description, PDI score, will also be in there. So let's say that they scored a 70 today, and again the reference range is 0 to 70. Now let's put one final value in for today. So again, choose the pain disability index procedure, choose PDI score as the description, and let's say we're doing a bit better this time. Again, 0 to 70. So when you see this in the lab list, you can double click on it and it will bring up the past values as well as a graph to show you what their progress has been over time. So this is a really good way for a clinic to monitor the progress of something that can be plotted on a graph such as this. 